everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video on a recent collective haul. Um, I think it's from the past maybe two months? No. Past month-ish maybe? And I just have everything in this Sephora bag so that it's neat and tidy in my room. But not everything's from Sephora. I think only like two things are from Sephora. Uh, so I hope I'm in focus. I did this myself. And it's really hard to autofocus on yourself when you're sitting pretty far from the camera, um, but I think it's okay. Okay, so let's get cracking. The first item I want to show you is some hair products I picked up. So I got this, I got this hairbrush from Winners and it was $12.99 and this is made out of wild boar hair, I guess, and it's by the brand Desange Paris, I hope I'm saying that right. And this is their compact hairbrush because after I did my hair, um, it was pretty dry. So wild uh, boar hairbrushes apparently kind of distribute your natural hair oils um, evenly instead of just like using like a plastic brush per se. So I, I got that and I already used it a couple times. I don't know if I love it, but I'll keep kind of playing with it and see what happens. The next item I got is from Sephora and I got this Kat Von D Monarch eyeshadow palette and I believe this was maybe like 40 bucks around, I'm not sure. And I'll just pull it out and show you. So I have used this palette um, quite a few times already and I like how the back shows you what the colors are so if you're ever trying to refer to a color in the palette it's not just like oh this one here or this one there, those are actually names. Um, but the only bad part is they don't have the names on the inside, but I guess having on the back is better than nothing, right? So this is what the palette looks like. I like how it's broken up into kind of like three smaller palettes, um, or quads per se, and even though like you can use the colors however you want, I like how the bigger sections of the are the colors that you would use maybe for blending, like this color I love using for blending, so the bigger the better because I use a those kind of fleshy tone shades in a palette way quicker than I do other colors. It also comes with like a big mirror on the other side. The next item I got is also from Sephora and it is by Bite Beauty. This is their Cashmere Lip Cream and I got it in the color Sancerre. Hope I'm saying that right again. So when you take it out of the package, it looks like this. It's a really nice kind of purse size, um, I guess you could call this kind of like a liquid lipstick. It does finish off matte, um, can you even see that? And it has this like interesting really thin profile brush. It's a really nice pink um, color and it's true, true to color, true. It's very pigmented so what you see here is what you kind of get on your lips. The next two items I got are hair products and they're from um, c &E, the Canadian National Exhibition. And they're actually from kind of like like C D has different stands and stuff that sells things, and I think this is from the site Sale Event or something. They had all this um, makeup and um, body care and cosmetics, etc. So I got two um, Garni Fructis hair products. This is the Triple Nutrition Miracle Dry Oil for hair, body, and face. So I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to see how good it is. And the other one I got is the Sleek and Shine Moroccan Oil. Nope. Sleek and Shine Rock and Sleek Oil Treatment. And again, this is just another oil treatment for your hair. So I'm excited to try the two oils. I've kind of been um, buying a lot of hair products just so I can kind of recondition my hair after I bleached it. The next couple of items that I got are also from the same place. And there are these two nail polishes. They're by Sinful Colors, which is um, a brand I've never tried before, but I've heard of on YouTube and stuff. And I did use this kind of sparkly top coat and I really like it. So I hope the white you nail know, polish is just as good. But this is really nice. And this one is called Green Ocean and the white one is called Snow Me White. I got three more nail polishes from the same sale because it was like a whole kind of pile of nail polish you could choose from. And I think they were like five or ten dollars or something. So I got three Revlon ones and I got the color Allure. Um, and then... Marmalade and then Provoke 
and I really like these nail polishes. I think these nail polishes are just as good as like OPI or SE and they go on really nice and their brush is really nice and they last uh, quite a while so I really would recommend them. The next item I got is from Target and it is this Sonia Kashuk um, essential eye kit and it has five eye brushes in it. You get the eyeshadow brush, smudger brush, angled eyeliner, blending brush, crease brush, and you get a case and mirror. So this little case here can store all these brushes and you also get a mirror inside. So I think that this would be really good for travel. I haven't tried anything from Sonia Kashuk so I'm really excited to try this. It has pretty much all the brushes you need to do um, eye look, so I'm excited about this. And the last item I got is um, something I was kind of eyeing up to see if the stores had it in stock, and it is this Maybelline The Nudes palette. Um, I think it's quite new, or in Canada at least, and I've only seen it at Shoppers Drug Mart. And this palette, I think for the first time I saw it, it was like $14.99, I'm like, so that's kind of pricey for a drugstore palette. But then on another day at Shoppers Drug Mart, a different one at least, it was on sale for $6.99. I was like, score. I'm going to try this for $6.99. So it comes with a little um, sponge tip applicator, a double-sided one. And then you get 12 shades in here. Um, I think it's really nice. They're not as pigmented as, say, like Urban Decay or Lorac, but they're pretty good, and I would recommend using a primer with these for sure. Um, I like how there's a lot of different tones, like you have your light tones, but you also have mid-tones and the dark tones. I found that some of the palettes that go nude, you kind of miss out on the mid-tones, and they either only have dark tones and then the light tones, and you're kind of working out what you can do, and I kind of blend it all together. So this is a really nice palette. And I like how they've set it up. They put some thought to it. Um, it's broken down into, it shows you in the back, but it's broken down so that you can use it as quads. So there's four there. That would be a quad. So there's three quads. And then you can use it as trios. So there's a trio across here and then a trio down here. So there's four trios. Or you can use them as duels. And it's just two across. So you have six duels there. So I think that's pretty smart because sometimes a palette like this can be challenging. If that's the word to use or sometimes I can't make up my mind on what colors to use together and then I could just use how they set it up for you to use it. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, so that's everything for my collective haul and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.